and welcome back to more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Last time we cleared the Star Cup with Light Blue Yoshi, and this time we're taking on the Special Cup, and I think we're gonna play as Peach for this one. And I think we're actually gonna try out an inside drifting bike since we actually haven't shown off one yet. Let us go with, um... Hmm, I'm not sure which tires to use with this. I usually go with this one, but uh, so yeah, let's try this. And for glider, this is actually like a very standard build for me. I think this is the first time I'm actually using a cart combo, or vehicle combo more specifically, that I actually normally use. Cloudtop Cruise is a fan favorite stage. It's just really good and dynamic, I think is a good word to describe it. So uh, this is an inside drifting bike, which means I will probably go off the edge a few times because I've been playing outside drifting vehicles the last three parts, case in point. Um, so the music for starters is uh, incorporates uh, parts of Gusty Garden Galaxy from Galaxy 1, so that's always a plus. Um, second of all, you start out on a beanstalk, go to an airship, and go to the clouds. And the music changes in this segment, which is always a, a touch I can appreciate. Um, when a stage has dynamic music, that changes depending on what part of the level you're in. Mario Kart, uh, not Mario Kart, uh, Mario Galaxy does that a ton. Uh, Really appreciate that, specifically for boss themes. There's a neat little shortcut right here that I'm gonna try on lap two because I'm gonna go off the edge otherwise. Here's Gusty Garden. Yeah, see, this was a mistake trying to pick an, an inside drifting bike after playing outside drifting all this time. Go we'll manage. Uh, this is actually like a pretty standard uh, customization though, so I should be able to figure it out eventually. Uh, since, yeah, I, it's not like I've never used this com combo before. Um, we'll also get to see the Super Horn, horn in action, assuming we don't get hit by lightning in the next 3 seconds. So the blue shell will kind of hover over you, and that's the perfect time to actually use the Super Horn. You do not want to use it too early, obviously. Let's try this again. Maybe it's better to not drift into that. And lap 3. Also, one of my favorite details in Mario Kart in general, this isn't new by the way, is uh, on lap 3, the music speeds up, which is just ni a nice little Mario-esque detail because in the old games, once there's only 100 seconds on the timer, the music would speed up. So it's kind of nice to have the music speed up like that. I think... Was it Team Sonic Racing that does something kind of similar? I don't remember. I haven't played it. Uh, I just remember remember seeing a playthrough of it a long time ago, and I don't remember much about it. T to be honest, um, I think Sonic and Sega All-Stars is a really good racing game, and I would actually consider doing a let's play of that since that actually has like a mission mode. Anyway, uh, that was really straightforward. I mean, it is one of my favorite tracks, so it would have been actually really unfortunate if I had actually lost it, but uh, worked out in the end. Had a bit of a rough start getting used to it. The Bone Dry Dunes is conversely not one of my favorite tracks, mostly because it's very precise. The end specifically is very, very twisty and I tend to crash a lot, so I'm not really super partial to this course. You can kind of see it on the map how twisty it gets at parts. Aesthetically, I like it. I like sunset levels in video games. The uh, sand ship is a nice touch as someone who likes Skyward Sword. Shoutouts to Skyward Sword, another game I want to let's play or stream someday. <laughs> um, also, that's another thing I should probably mention. The reason I'm doing this as a as a let's play and not as a stream playthrough is 
frankly, how would I look at chat while trying to play Mario Kart? <laughs> it sort of just makes more sense to do it this way, to me. Um, doing this particular stretch with an outside turning vehicle is actually a little difficult, uh, because that's kind of an awkward turn. But yeah, it just makes made more sense to do this as a Let's Play. And also I've been uh, talking for a while about wanting to do more traditional Let's Plays and not stream playthroughs, so here you go. I have a few more planned, um, uh, so this, this is a pretty straightforward track. Actually, I'm gonna go with the slow route, because I never go this way. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever gone this way. Like, maybe, like, once or twice. It's just so windy and awkward that the shortcut just makes so much more sense. There's an upper path, it's really difficult to get to the upper path, it's actually easier on 200cc because you're going so much faster. See, I keep doing that. Um, I'm not gonna say any of these playthroughs are bound to happen immediately, but I am planning like Link's Awakening, and also maybe Link to the Past, but I'm not super partial to that one. Uh, my first 2D Zelda was Phantom Hourglass, which I've already done, and uh, Minish Cap, so, which I've also done. <laughs> So I prefer those over a link to the past, as much of a hot take as that probably is. Cadence of Hyrule is another one like this where I would consider doing a let's play over a stream playthrough because, again, how would I be able to read a chat and do a music game at the same time? Hey look, I finally did that turn properly. <laughs> And that wasn't too awful, though. I do need to look up a list of rivals, though, because I do find it fascinating how they programmed in a rival system. Also, Sonic Ri Riders. I wish I could stream, but I actually don't own the game anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I've been looking for a copy of Sonic Riders because I actually want to do a Let's Play of it, because I actually unironically enjoy a lot of that game. Um, but yeah, no guarantees, because I don't have a copy of it. So as uh, is tradition, our second to last Special Cup race is Bowser's Castle, and this one is a doozy. I I don't know what my favorite Bowser's Castle is. I think it might be Double Dash, and I, I know I'm talking a lot about Double Dash, <laughs> because that is actually my second favorite. Again, Nostalgia. Uh, I, I will want Double Dash. Uh, something Double Dash themed, eventually. Like if they did a Double Dash uh, 2, uh, I think that would be really a good direction for Mario Kart 9, uh, to differentiate it from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So like if they did a Double Dash style, I think that would- because I think a, a concern I have with a new Mar Mario Kart is if they announce a new one, they're gonna be like, or people will be like, but we already have Mario Kart 8. So I think now would be like the perfect time to bring back Double Dash. Because that would be different enough to justify making it an entirely new game, and not just, you know, releasing DLC for this one. Also, that was unfortunate. I got for first place just in time for a blue shell. Because of course. Um... So, yeah. I think Double Dash is sort of underrated, actually. I don't know if underrated is the right word. Overlooked, maybe, but then that's every GameCube game. Um, yeah, Double Dash is just really good. This one is, like, maybe... probably second favorite? I don't really like 64s. And I think the Super Nintendo game has, like, three Bowser's Castles or something ridiculous. Uh, they have a lot of reused uh, art in that game. Like, there's Donut Plains, like, 1 through 4, there's, like, Bowser's Castle, there's multiple Bowser's Castles, um, and so on. So, I'm not really a fan of Super. Super Circuit, also not the biggest fan of that one. Um, I don't even remember Bowser's Castle in that one, to be honest. I remember liking Double Dashes, and I remember, like, actually, I mostly like Double Dashes for the music. But I also don't remember Wii's very much. Because when I think Mario Kart Wii Bowser's Castle, I think 
the N64 version again, because that's in the retro circuit. So, um, yeah, I legitimately can't remember what it even is. So, a mushroom's lying on the ground, so we can just run into it. Um, usually lightning will force characters to drop items, so you can just use them if they're helpful, just by running into them. Alright, so one more race left, and, uh, if you ever play Mario Kart, you can guess which one it is. Also, you could see it when I was selecting the cup, now that I think about it. And we're ending off with Rainbow Road, which is not really a favorite of mine, or frankly, anybody. This is like the least popular track in the game from what I've heard. No one really cares for it, and honestly, I kind of have to agree. I'm not the... I like Rainbow Road. I want to say my favorite is... Uh, 64, because it feels like such a good finale track. Also, you might have to break here. It's like one of the only tracks in the game that you probably need to break for in uh, 150. Because that initial set of turns is like really narrow. I don't know, this one just feels really lacking. The space theme is kind of eh. It doesn't feel as like magical, it feels more like scientific, and that's why I think I don't like this Rainbow Road. Uh, this is like bottom like three. Again, I haven't played the, uh, Mario Kart 7 to be honest, but I remember liking DS's a lot in GameCube or Double Dash again. And uh, frankly, <laughs> uh, there are three Rainbow Roads. Spoilers. So if you don't like this one, don't worry. There's two more uh, that we'll be seeing later. Also, this is bad timing. Not too bad, though. We're not that far behind. Um, so they have the Super Nintendo version as a DLC track, and they have the uh, N64 version in the Retro Cups. Which, honestly, is on the box art. So it's like, even Nintendo realized, like, oh, no one likes the new one, huh? <laughs> so let's just show the old one. I do wish... The GameCube one could get remade, but I don't remember if it was an, an older one. Um, like, I can't remember all of the retro tracks in Wii. Um, or DS for that matter. Did DS have retro tracks? I don't even remember. It's been a while. <laughs> um, I've thought about doing the other Mario Karts, like going backwards and going through all the other console ones, if I could you know, find them. And also if I could, you know, find a way to stream like DS, I would. 7 is probably out. Um, but d Smooth. Um, DS might happen. I mean, it at least would be fitting that if I'm gonna lose a race, it's one I don't like. <laughs> it's like, at least it's not like I'm not losing my favorite track, so that's some consolation. But we won. Somehow. Not bad. A little, a little hiccup in the middle, but it went pretty well. Also, there's a highlight system. You can view highlight reels. You can also favorite highlights. Uh, I haven't mentioned that, but you can also upload them to YouTube, I'm pretty sure. At least you could on Wii U. You can also screenshot and switch if you like. Um, anyway, results time. Alright, that is- okay, I'm not sure how I feel about them, including me literally getting, like, like about to fall out off the track and having to course correct. I wish they had left that out personally, but, um, oh well. On the whole, uh, that's four for four. We're doing well so far. Uh, but we still have eight more cups to go. Um, but we are going to be taking a break from that here. Since we've gone through all the four main cups, before we go on to the retro ones, 
I think we should take a look at battle mode for a little bit. So next time we are going to be actually jumping over to the Wii U version and going over battle mode. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me next time for more Mario Kart 8 Not Deluxe.